Welcome back to Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Clerk Producers. We are ready to start the fourth quarter here at Pretzel Field in New Berlin. Auburn and New Berlin, 4-4, four and four, looking for win number five to become playoff eligible. Third, fourth and long. Johnson back to throw. Complete left side and good for the first down. And that is... A first down for Auburn Trojan, Dustin Chance. That's a Brant Professional Agriculture first down. Deep route, great job by the offensive line to give Johnson enough time to get the ball uh, downfield. A uh, big catch by Chance to extend, keep this drive alive. Just inside the 15 yard line. So ball is at the 14 yard line for the Trojans. There's the fake and the keeper, and still on his feet, and now he's down. And yeah, it looks like his knee hit the, hit the ground when he That's slipped there. Ben Johnson, I'm talking about the quarterback. So now you're New Berlin, you're trailing by 17, and can't not afford another score here by Auburn. So you need some stop, some something big yeah, here. You need something. Series. You got to generate a turnover, maybe. A, you're going to get a false start here on, on Auburn. Two final scores for you. Williamsville over Athens, 55-13. to 13. Wow. So Williamsville finishes 8-1. False. false start. Offense. Repeat the down. Another final. Uh, Pleasant Plains over Porta, 35-0. So. Okay. Thank you for those scores. I am surprised, too, at the Williamsville score, the, the margin of victory. Yeah, I, I, incredible. I, I definitely thought Waynesville had an edge. I did not think that game would be a, a kind of a running clock there uh, in Williamsville. And I will say they are a, a dangerous team that I don't think a lot of teams want to see moving into, into playoff time. Second and 15. Throws complete to the right side and down at the 15-yard line is Colby Bossman. Little swing pass out to Bossman to see if he can get open in space and a good pursuit by the pretzel defense to bring him down. So third down and 10 for Auburn, who are in no hurry to call a play or do much at this point. Johnson gives to McLaughlin. Trying to find some room there. Up the middle. You know, they're in, in four down territory. Coach Bates right there just trying to get himself into a, a fourth and manageable here to open up his playbook. And let's see what the Trojans kind of decide to do here on fourth down. Fourth and six. And they will go for it, it looks like. With 9.42 to go in the game. Fakes going to throw is Johnson. Left side, got a man open. Eaker, oh, can't quite connect. Benji Eaker was open. He just quite couldn't connect in the corner of the end zone. So yeah, Johnson ran out of time and, and had to get that one out there. And just off the fingertips of Eaker, who, who came across the field and had a step on his defender. But hey, this is giving life back to the pretzels. Let's see what they can do. They need a score and score pretty quickly, although nine and a half to go and the game and nine and a half minutes to go in somebody's season, Adam. Yep. So. But yeah, got with 17 points, you got your your three scores down, technically. So uh, you got to work fast. Jordan Thousand in a quarterback, back to throw, and closer to an Auburn defender than he was uh, one of his own receivers on that play. So incomplete. Yeah, don't. Again, you need to be in a hurry. You need to make some big plays. You don't want to try to do too much and give the ball right back to the Trojans. Colby Bossman with the defense on the play there. 9.26 to go. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a good good season 
Friday Night Rivals and Saturday Night Rivals. It's been a lot of fun and hope you've enjoyed it at home as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you and our great team. But Thousand trying to get away, breaks a tackle and another one, but brought down. Got about two there and he fought off about every tackle he could before just getting past the line of scrimmage. So the pretzels, the hurry up offense. Third down and eight. Now they have a play. Thousand bobbles it, going to keep it. Nope, throws. Long pass, almost picked off, and Adam, I know that, <laughs> I know that you have to either chance when the ball's here, you have a chance opportunity for the ball. I'm trying to say here is it could have been, my opinion, maybe defensive interference or uh, pass interference on the offense. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not real sure. But the, the bobbling the football right there, thousands lucky I, he didn't drop it, and he kind of just threw one up. And if I, you if you look at the replay. I mean, you could have. So. They let them both do a little bit yeah. more than so is legal. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, eight thirty-seven to go, and fourth and eight. New Berlin has two timeouts left, and they need to get a play in here pretty quickly. And Adam, this could be the season in essence. Yeah, and potentially for New Berlin. And they go they to need the first out. They they they, they got a punter. They got to do yeah. something and. Coach Campardo was fired up at, at somebody not coming off the field when they're supposed to. Oh, just got it off. The punt takes the New Berlin bounce. But the Trojans will have the ball with excellent field position. Yeah, Sidney Landers uh, almost blocked this. And here, you kids at home, you're going to learn something. You never jump. If he would have just kept his head down and ran straight through the right shoulder of the punter, then he blocks that ball. When you jump, you actually take yourself out of the way. It's, it doesn't always look like it does in movies or, or television <laughs> shows. You actually, if, yeah. you, if you keep your feet on the ground and just put your hands out in front of you, you'll block that punt nine times out of ten. Johnson throws left side complete. And Mensch with the catch and the pickup there as Auburn started on the 34-yard line of New Berlin. And that is good for a first down. And that is a Casey's General Store first down. Check that. Brandt Professional Agriculture first down. Sorry about that. First and 10 from the 24. Berlin's got to be careful. A touchdown here by Auburn makes a comeback. You know, a very steep hill to climb. McLaughlin with the carry. Push back and stop there. And yeah, need more plays like that. Again, Auburn's not going to be any hurry to do anything. So second down, no gain. 7.40 to go. Thirty-two to fifteen as you see the score. Auburn with the ball and the lead. Johnson throws complete. And no yards after the catch on that one. And Colby Bossman with another reception for the Trojans. Carson Reese, a sophomore, had that one sniffed out as soon as the, the ball was snapped and didn't let Bossman get anywhere. And Third down and long, it's third and 15 for Auburn. Back to throw, Johnson fakes, looks, goes in the middle, and e oh, Eaker can't hang on to it. Thought he had it, couldn't quite hang on to it, and had a defender on him. Yep, Carson Reese again, so. the sophomore, making two big plays in a row, and but we got a flag down in the backfield. Plenty of yellow flags tonight. 
<laughs> yes, there have been. Plenty of yellow. No shortage. They're getting to work out those referees and those flags are. <laughs> so talking to the pretzels about it. Holding. See, holding. Offense declined. Fourth down. So we have a final in Maroa. And it is Maroa 20, North Mac 11. Oh, wow. So Move. we will My have goodness. a three-way tie for the Sangamo title, North Mac, Maroa, and Williamsville. Eight and one, right? Well, yeah, so we'll all be wow. eight and one. What a conference. That, that's, I guess, shouldn't be a surprise, should it? That's no, it, the you way know, the, the, the hats off to, yeah, yeah. to North Mac to, to even be. Uh, eight and one. I know they've had some close calls and, and some tight ones, and just could not do it here tonight against a very, very good Maroa team. Johnson looks for Eaker and has him, but and it's complete and it's good inside the Seals red zone, and that is good for a first down. That is a Brant Professional Agriculture first down here in the fourth quarter. That, is, that takes the air out of the New Berlin sideline there on fourth down. Uh, Johnson just floated that one, and, you know, the sophomore Reese took another chance to jump in front of that one and just missed it off the tip of his fingers right nice. right into Eaker. Nice grab by Benji Eaker, and first and goal from the five. McLaughlin trying to score again. He goes from the left side and stops short of the end zone. It's going to be just short. What do you say they give it to him again and try the same thing? We'll see what they do here on second and goal. And they do, and this time McLaughlin is in for the touchdown. So that's a young security touchdown and another $50 donated to the Mini O'Burn Crisis Nursery, courtesy of Young Security. So thank you for the donation to the Mini O'Burn Crisis Nursery. You know, so 38 to 15, Adam, with 6.07 to go. Ryan McLaughlin has had himself a night. Uh, maybe this is getting the ball rolling for him going into uh, maybe into the playoffs if this uh, score still holds as this game, get, as this game ends. Uh, I definitely think that's great news for the, the Auburn Trojans if, if they can get him going moving into the playoffs. Trojans will attempt the point after. Kick is up, and it is good. So 39 to seven, or 39 to 15, with 6:07 to go in the game. Back with more. You're watching SefQ Friday Night Rivals, presented by the Illinois Pork Producers. Stay with us, please. Welcome back to SefQ Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers. Paul Wappel and Adam Anderson in New Berlin. The Pretzels Trail Auburn 39 to 15. And we like to thank SefQ for sponsoring Friday Night Rivals this season. SefQ, not a bank, better. And we appreciate SefQ's sponsorship and support throughout the whole season, all nine weeks of it. Also like to make sure we give a shout out at them and uh, we try to do that every week to thank all of the, the crew and statisticians and photographers and Everybody associated, our sideline reporters, everybody associated with this Friday Night Rivals and Saturday Night Rivals. Yeah, well. absolutely. And got to give a, a shout out to, to you guys at home for, for watching us. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So keep watching Friday and Saturday Night Rivals. All right. Kickoff fielded at about the 18 yard line. Coming this way and push back. Nothing doing. On the return there for New Berlin, and we will be naming a defensive uh, uh, player of the game and have a defensive play of the game in a little while tonight. Uh, also, need to give a shout out to, shout out to uh, ABC News Channel Ball. 20. Play uh, hit. Foul. Kicking team. First down. 15 from there. Yeah. There you see the penalty and the yard is being marked off, but a. A shout out and a big thank you uh, for to ABC News Channel 20 General Manager Rick Lips and to ABC News Channel 20 News Director Kent Harrell and his ta uh, team, the news team and sports team and at Channel 20 doing a great job and helping us out and bringing you the stories throughout the week and on Fox Illinois and 
We appreciate that. So thanks to Rick and Kent and their uh, outstanding teams. Yeah, especially for uh, Evan Peterson, uh, Keila Davis, and, and Brendan Cullerton, and uh, Jacqueline Driscoll down there on the sideline. Uh, they, they bring you all the great stories through the week. You know, you, uh, the New Berlin principal talked at halftime. You know, she just loves to the, – the community is spotlighted throughout the week before the football game, and that's what it's really about. Absolutely. It's about the schools and the students and the communities. So on first down, a pickup of maybe one. And uh, I want to thank Hunter McKee as well, a shout-out uh, on Fox, Illinois' side. And Louis, Help us out. And Louis, Louis Del Rio, who, who stepped in for, for both of us yep. for a few games. That's right. 5.29 to go in the fourth. New Berlin. Trailing 39 to 15. Back to throw. He does throw and complete the 45 now to midfield. And brought down at the 44 yard line is Jack Eason. And that is good for a first down. A Brandt Professional Agriculture. First down on the play. As I was saying, the Moroa North Mac game was 27 to 19 was the final there. Okay, all right. Thank you to my score stream people for updating me on that. So first and ten from the 44 yard line of Auburn. Thousand, the pass right side, and stretching for the first down or trying to get the first down on the play is Ben Nichols. Yeah, he stuck the ball out there, <laughs> folks. In, in high school <laughs> football, it really doesn't go off where the, it's going to go where your your knee or your elbow touches the ground. So, even though you're handing the football out there, it doesn't mean a whole lot. He did get the first down. It's a Brant Professional Agriculture first down. So a good effort there. The pretzels moving downfield quickly. Ball on the 33-yard line. Thousand rolling. Throws left side complete. Still on his feet and trying to go, and oh, he is heading to the end zone. Touchdown, Jack Eason with a heck of an effort there, Adam. Yeah, great catch and run there by Eason. Just cannot be denied. He is a senior. He wants to keep playing. Uh, that's the kind of effort they need here, four, four and a half left in the game. And that's a young security touchdown and good for another $50. Courtesy of Young Security to the Minio Burn Crisis Nursery. Just carried a defender was, into the end zone. Great job. That was a heck of an effort. So 39 to 21, 431 to go. See how the pretzels played here, Adam. Gotta go for two. Mm -hmm. Make it a 16-point game. 13-point game. I'm bad at math. Don't <laughs> don't want to uh no, it is 16. Over si yeah. yeah, let's see how. I keep staring at this. They just need <laughs> to score so I can stop talking. Thousand throws and nobody home. So now you're down 18. So that was a big, big miss on the conversion there, Adam. So we'll take a short break. Back with more on Seth Q Friday Night Rivals presented by Illinois Pork Producers. Back with more from New Berlin in just a minute. Stay with us, please. Welcome back to Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers. We're in New Berlin. 4.31 to go in the game. Auburn, the Trojans lead 39-21 to over the New Berlin Pretzels. And we will take a look at the last touchdown that just scored a, a nice, nice effort here by the Pretzels wide receiver here. You look at the second effort here, stays in bounds, and... Gets into the end zone. Yep, just fighting off defenders. Just did not want to be denied there. Jack Eason with the six points for the home team. Late in the fourth quarter. And with 4.31 to go, let's see how the pretzels, what they do here on the kickoff. See if they go for the onside kick or not. And they do. It's oh, oh, tip, but oh. I think it was tipped early before 10 yards. I don't see a flag. Do you, Adam? I don't, I don't see a flag. But I think they, yeah. 
That was pretty close to not being 10 yard. Yeah. Either way, I think Auburn fell in the football, so. Yeah, so it does, yeah. Here you see the replay. You like it if you're the team kicking the ball when it goes high in the air, but yeah, fielded cleanly there by yeah, Auburn. So four you, and a half to go. think back to the, that Rochester Sager Hart Griffin game where the, the perfect uh, onside kick there that kept that game entertaining down to the buzzer. That was a good one. There you see the scoring summary, 57 yards, a minute and 28 seconds. And Auburn will start on the 47-yard line of New Berlin. And we will be naming the, showing you the defensive play in the game here shortly. So don't want to miss that. 4.30 to go. Auburn with the ball. There's the handoff right side to McLaughlin, and nothing much doing. The Trojans just going to eat that clock up at him and pick up a, another first down at this yeah, point. They're going to they're going to run it down until the play clock gets inside to five before they start uh, snapping the football. No reason to be in a hurry. And we will take a look at our defensive play of the game, brought to you by Griffiths Construction. Defend your home against the upcoming winter weather with Griffiths Construction, siding, and windows. And take a look at the Sydney Landers interception there. The 5'10", 170-pound senior. And then the touchdown Next after that later, by yeah. <laughs> Ryan McLaughlin, who's been a ton tonight for Auburn. And that really changed a lot of momentum right at the beginning of the second half. And... Uh, that had been the story here in New Berlin. Second down. Clock running with 3.52 to go. Hand off to who else? McLaughlin, who barrels his way into the pretzels territory, and that's good for a Brandt professional agriculture first down. So if Dave, and that's a killer. If Dave Bates is, is, is going to be talking about anybody, he should... Really thank Ryan McLaughlin. He has carried this Trojan offense here tonight uh, on his shoulders and on his legs. He, he's had a huge game. Uh, looks like the Ryan McLaughlin we saw last season. Definitely does. And first down from on the 33. Trojans taking their time. McLaughlin again steps over a defender and maybe one of his teammates. Not much of a gain, but the pretzels take a timeout. They have one left now with 3.08 to go here in the fourth. So Ryan McLaughlin's got 25 carries for 134 yards and five touchdowns here this evening. Big night for him. Take a look at one of our Cameraman, is that Adam out there? There we go. Oh, hey guys, hey fellas, thanks for all your hard work this season. And those are the, the true, the they true are. hard workers here for for Friday night. Wave, Rivals. I'm on. All right, appreciate your uh, job, yeah, cool. job well done, guys and gals, and our timeout crew. And <laughs> <laughs> all right, Staying warm, and everybody in the truck and out here on the field and. They do a great, great job bringing the pictures and sights and sounds to you at home. And oh, hey. hey, is that us? Hey, how hey. you doing? That's us. Where are we at? All right. It's been a lot of fun. We've really, really enjoyed it. Second season of Friday Night Rivals and first season for Saturday Night Rivals. And You guys just got a good shot of the, the mythical statistician. Doug, Doug Opperman keeps us in line with, with what's going on. We couldn't. Couldn't be here without him. Thank you, Doug, for a job well done this season. We appreciate it. Back to the action. Trojans have the ball second 3.08 to go. Second and nine from the 33. The final night of the regular season across the state of Illinois. You guys want to come over? Refreshing. So, still taking a little bit of time. You know, they don't have to right now. Sure. Back to throw is Johnson. Oh, and he had it and just dropped it. Uh, maybe he was hitting right in the chest and surprised that uh, Dustin Chance couldn't hang on to that. But 
I'm surprised a little bit the play call. Yeah. Nobody else was probably expecting. Maybe that was the yeah. Maybe that the was element the of surprise. There, half the fun, sure. Again, you're seven o'clock <laughs> late flag. You're going to get a personal foul called on the Auburn Trojans for a little dead extracurricular ball. activity. Personal foul, offense. Personal dead ball. Foul. Personal foul. Defense. Oh. Penalties oh. offset. Oh, okay, offsetting penalty. So, so that yeah, it is offsetting penalties. But as we had on Saturday night rivals. Uh, Last week, if, if, yeah, last mm -hmm. last Saturday. If either one of those guys gets another one, they are out of this game and they wouldn't be able to play in the first round of the playoffs. So that's huge. You know, offsetting penalties doesn't mean a whole lot, but sure. but it does in, in hindsight too. Thirty-nine twenty-one Auburn over New Berlin. Three oh two to go in the game, and Auburn making a few changes, personnel changes. Ben Johnson has been at quarterback the entire game for the Trojans. Third and nine. He's going to keep it. Johnson does left side, and the ball, ball is comes loose. Out. And New Berlin says they have it. Let's see if they do. And, and they, they do. do have it. So it's not over. to go in the fourth. They need to strike quickly. The pretzels have a life here. So look for some air strikes in take, a hurry. Take a look there. Yeah, ball just yeah. pops right out. Great tackle by number 23, uh, Benjamin Nichols. Just punched that ball right out of there. First and 10 from the 29. Got to watch the clock and move the chains in a hurry. Jordan Thousand back to throw. Throws deep midfield, tipped by the Trojans and almost picked off, incomplete. Defended well there by Auburn. Yeah, that should have been picked off there by uh, number 12, Colby Bossman. He just stepped right in front of that one. I think he, again, got a little ahead of himself and uh, took try to take that one the other way so thousand getting a little lucky there clock is stopped second and ten from the 29 back to throw looking thousand looking gets it off and sideline Ooh, hit hard out of bounds but incomplete it was caught but uh, out of bounds just guided him a little too far in the pass so Third and ten now with 2.43 to go in the game. So you don't have to, you know, they got to go 70, 71 yards here. You don't need all 71 in one play. You just need ten to get the chains moving. That stops the clock. Get a score and get the – Yeah, just try another onside kick and see what happens. Easier said than done, right, sometimes. <laughs> but let's see how they do here. Third down and ten. Thousand. Tipped again across the middle by a couple of Auburn – Players, Sidney Landers, who had the defensive play of the game, we showed you a few minutes ago with the tip. Yeah, that really changed there. the game in the beginning of the third quarter. and It's going to be fourth and ten here. This, this could be the ball game here for the pretzels. This certainly could be. Needing a first down and, and more. From their own 29. Auburn trying to make it to the playoffs for the 20th consecutive year. Auburn trying to make their streak four in a row. Thousand across the middle, hit hard and caught and down. No, Incomplete. Like no, he didn't. Okay. Oh, and he is down. He took a big ben, hit. Ben Nichols took a shot on fourth down. So. Incomplete, and Auburn will take over on downs at the New Berlin 29. Take a look at the replay. Ooh. I think Coach Comparo's upset. He wanted a helmet to helmet. He it, that looks very justified there. Looking at the replay, it's a tough hit to take. Wow. So. Auburn with the ball. They just need to hang on here. And first and ten. 
In the 29. Lachlan at 30, and yeah, they're just gonna fight for that football. Yeah. Trying to strip whoever has it. So Adam, we haven't said much about the uh, the points. It looks like the points. Yeah, the Auburn were, hangs on here to win that they would have enough points. So how your your Go your, ahead. your yeah. points are the the teams you beat, how many wins they have collected together. Um, this year, usually the numbers in the in the high thirties. Uh, this year, the point cutoff use is going to be around thirty six or thirty seven. Auburn should be fine uh, again. The teams they've played have a, have a lot of wins, so um, I don't think there's going to be any issue. You're always going to sweat it out. And McLaughlin with another big run, and that is a Brant Professional Agriculture first down, and that definitely should seal it for the Trojans. But I'm sorry, go ahead, Adam. No, so the the reason you, you have playoff points is, you know, as I talked earlier, I was once a coach of a five and four team, uh, and there were you know, 20 teams for 15 spots. So uh, there were five of us who had five and four playoff eligible, but we're, we're done because we didn't have enough. Our, our schedule wasn't strong, and or, you know, maybe the teams we, we beat didn't end up having good years. So uh, that was a tough pill to swallow, which some teams will find that out tomorrow. And McLaughlin in for the touchdown from 13 yards out. So that will seal it. That's a young security touchdown and another $50 donated to the Minio Burn Crisis Nursery, courtesy of Young Security. I want to thank them for being our touchdown sponsor this year and a lot of money going to charity, and you have to love that. So McLaughlin with touchdown number six on the night. Yep, and he's got 162 yards rushing here. He's had a huge night for the Auburn Trojans. He has been tough when the Trojans have needed it. So 45 to 21 is our score. And the Trojans will try to make it 46 to 21. And they do. So with a minute 15 to go in the game, Auburn will get victory number five and become Playoff eligible. And I want to remind you that on coming up this weekend on sports on our station, Saturday on ABC, NC State will take on Louisville at 11 o'clock. And on Fox, Utah, ranked 19, will take on UCLA at 3. On the CW, Bowling Green at Toledo at 2.30. And ABC, News Channel 20, you'll see Purdue at Nebraska. Eighth ranked Nebraska. The Cornhuskers playing great this season. And on Fox, Oklahoma at Texas Tech at 7 o'clock. Well, we haven't Which, talked about it because you are a Cardinals fan. Yes, we but, talked a little. Go ahead. A little but bit I, but I am a Cubs fan. i got to get your feeling. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow night? Uh, I think it's going to be tough for the Cubs tomorrow because Kershaw is pitching. Yes. I, I think it's going to go to game seven, and then I think it's anybody's series and strange things can happen in seven <laughs> game sevens cardinal fans have been through that and cub fans have been through a lot of crazy things and yes nlcs play and uh, 19 uh, or 2003 against uh, florida and we all know about that and yeah uh, it was a, a against 84 against what san diego and the playoffs as well so anything can happen but this is cubs have a heck of a good team and they they should win uh, at least on paper, they certainly should win. But um, it's been a it's been an interesting series, and the Cubs have come back and uh, with a couple of big wins in L.A. So we'll see how it goes. But good luck to the Cubs. It'd be great for baseball and great for fans around here. As the kickoff and one twelve with one twelve to go in the game, and we'll be naming a player of the game or Midwest Rehab Player of the Game shortly. And scoring drive here and. Well, Looks like well. a broken record here. A repeat <laughs> of the last one. Uh, seen it all night. McLaughlin with a touchdown run, 13 yards this time. To put Auburn up 46 to 21. Another and a flag. I'm not real sure what. Yeah, Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike. Receiving team. First down. 
So it's so that's gonna move it, yeah, move it back 15 yards. So see what final 112 of the regular season for Auburn and New Berlin. And don't forget to tune in to ABC News Channel 20, our sister station tonight, to check uh, in with uh, Donnie Tillman and David Coy. We'll have all the high school football scores and highlights on a, a very busy, busy last night of the regular season. And they'll have all the uh, sights and sounds for you from across central Illinois. So. First and 10 from the 16. Up the middle to the 25 yard line. And see Colby Bossman. Check that. Sorry about that. Not Colby Bossman. Thinking of Auburn. Bossman's had a big night. Had a big night offense and uh, on defense. 40 seconds ago, there's the pass and complete. Brought down uh, out of bounds. Pretzels is it's a first down. It's a Brant Professional Agriculture first down. Benjamin Nichols with the catch for the for New Berlin, the home team. And I want to thank New Berlin. I want to thank Auburn for being great, great uh, New Berlin for being a great host this week, and Auburn as well for allowing us uh, the ABC News Channel 20 folks and Fox Illinois folks to uh, come in and do stories on the on their schools or academic achievements. And you see a deep pass here, and it is complete at the 40, and looks like it will go into the end zone for New Berlin with 30 seconds to go. That's a young security touchdown, and another $50 donated to the Minio Burn Crisis Nursery, and a touchdown completion there to Jack Eason. So Jack Eason's had a pretty good night too. Yeah, absolutely. He's going down for them. He's going down so, fighting and that's what you want to see in these seniors that you want uh, you you trusted them all year. You wanted them to and I know that's the kind of program that uh, coach Campardo wants to to keep fighting and keep playing the game the right way and uh, Eason's had a, a big night tonight. So 46 to 27 our score and with 29 mm -hmm. seconds to go. Pretzels will go for for two. And there's the pass, and the conversion is good. So with 29 seconds to go, 46 to 29, and New Berlin with one timeout and I would imagine they would do an onside kick. Yeah. Why I mean, not? You never know. But. Be shocked if they didn't. Yep. <laughs> Take a look at the replay. And good job by Bixby just to flick it out there to Nichols and get the two point version, get it a little bit closer. A lot of offense tonight. I, I didn't think we'd see this, this many points tonight. Thought it'd be a little bit of a closer game. Yeah. I'm sure the uh, right. Mini O'Burn crisis is very Nurse happy. Is very happy, yes, absolutely. Thanks to Young Security, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Young Security, maybe not so much. They <laughs> might be writing a big check here tonight, but yeah. we appreciate their their sponsorship and for a great cause and money going to charity. So that's that's a good thing. That's a real good thing. So thanks to Young Security and all of our sponsors tonight and throughout the season and. Auburn expecting the onside kick. We're in the la under inside of 30 seconds in the ball game in New Berlin at Pretzel Field. See what happens here. And they didn't do an onside kick. Okay, so maybe surprised a few people, and McLaughlin will pick it up and take a knee. Smart play by yep. McLaughlin. You don't want to risk maybe taking an unnecessary hit for one and then two uh, if you fumble the football. And momentarily, again, we'll be naming our player of the game. and Jacqueline Driscoll, our sideline reporter, who's done a great job tonight, and she will uh, speak with the player of the game. 
our Midwest Rehab player of the game. So that's coming up shortly. You can guess who it might be, but you never know. You never know. So a lot of players have had good nights, and uh, Trojans will take a knee and so that's just about do it. Yeah, Adam, a tough one for for the pretzels. I, you, you know, deep down that they're they're happy that you know they got to four and five and had a chance to play for a playoff after taking a big lump in, in week one and losing seventy to seven. Uh, but you know, again, you're you're still upset that that you're not playing in week ten and, and lost a tough one here tonight to a, a, a Auburn Trojan team who at one time was a top ranked team in two ways. So, all right, so. The game is over, 46 to 29. Auburn eliminates New Berlin from postseason play, potentially postseason play, and we'll have more. You're watching Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers, back with the post-game show in just a minute. Stay with us, please. Welcome back to Seth Q Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers, Paul Wapple and Adam Anderson. We've just finished play here at New Berlin at Pretzel Field, where the Auburn Trojans move to five and four and become playoff eligible with a 46 to 29 win over the New Berlin Pretzels. And it was a good night for high school football and a big night for the visiting team. And Auburn, it looks like, we'll find out officially tomorrow, but it looks like they're headed back to the postseason for the 20th consecutive season. And right now we're gonna throw it down to ABC News Channel 20's Jacqueline Driscoll, who has our Midwest Rehab Player of the Game. Jacqueline? Hey, Paul. Hey, Adam. I'm down here in the winner's circle with the Auburn Trojans, and we've got our Player of the Game right here. Congre you had, w what a game, six touchdowns, over 100 yards. What are you feeling right now? Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm really happy for our team pulling off this win, getting to the playoffs. It's, great. it's, it's, a, great, it's a great feeling. And, and how, how does it feel to know that you played such a large role in that tonight? Uh, it feels good. And as big as a role. <laughs> and uh, it just felt, it feels good to contribute a lot tonight. All right, perfect. Congratulations. I'm ahead. Well, we got some important hardware for you here. There you go. <laughs> We're a little rowdy. We're going to bring it on over to Coach. And so... We got 20th consecutive trip to playoffs. How does it feel? Feels good. Um, you know, it, it streak is still going, so we're happy. And uh, just comment on on your boys' performance tonight. Um, you know, I, I thought we uh, right from the outset outset did what we needed to do, played well, and um, you know, ended with a with a good win. All right, congratulations! And here we go, our last one, our SEPQ championship yeah. trophy. All right, congratulations to the Auburn Trojans with a win tonight over New Berlin, and they are the winners of the SEFQ Friday Night Rivals Trophy. And congratulations to Ryan McLaughlin with six touchdowns for Auburn. He is the Midwest Rehab Player of the Game, and deservedly so. Best of luck to Auburn and all of the local teams uh, throughout the postseason, and that does it for us for the regular season, and uh, we'll be back next year. And we want to thank SEFQ for sponsoring Friday Night Rivals, presented by Illinois Pork Producers. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, school, ho school hosts, and, of course, you, our viewers, for making this season possible. Adam, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've enjoyed it. Yep, I can't believe we're already over. Uh, you know, it, it always seems to go by a little too fast, and, uh, good luck again to all the local area teams. I hope to see a few of you on Thanksgiving weekend. All right, sounds good. And uh, thanks again, everybody, and thanks to all of our crew, everybody associated with the games, Friday Night Rivals and Saturday Night Rivals, and we'll see you next year. So long. Good night, everybody, from New Berlin.